This is the future. Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel and today we're having something interesting to do we are going to replace the bottom crank pulley and also the crank seal because this thing is still leaking well um, after spending almost 12,000 Rand on this car replacing the tensioner new fan belt timing chain the tensioner for the timing chain fixing the tappet cover oil leak doing a service that cost me about 12,000 Rand including labor and the only reason why I took it somewhere else was because I was busy with the bar project but now that that project is done I'm going to do this job myself because this light is telling me it's going to cost me another 1,300 Rand in labor. There's no way I'm going to pay that. I'll do it myself. And he reckons me we have to strip off the tappet cover, the entire timing cover, and everything to get to that seal. So, without any further ado, let's start this job. Eh? The first thing I'm going to do, obviously, is we have to remove the wheel so I have to put it on a jack I've put a brick at the back handbrake is up and then we are first going to wash as you guys can see all this well it's because of this car so we're gonna first wash that side of the engine clean we're gonna start it and let it run for a few minutes and see if we can see where the oil is actually coming from before we start stripping so let's do that first Okay guys, as you can see, there's a little bit of oil there. So, it is the seal is leaking a little bit. Um, wash this quickly with a pressure washer. And then we're going to start it. Oh, and we're going to replace this pulley because this pulley, um, with all the oil, as you guys can see, this, this o-ring is not even right anymore. It's thick here, thin here. It has thrown out the total, uh, the balance of this pulley. And because of it vibrating, it's damaging the seal. I think that's why it's leaking well. Um, and there's anything on this side that is left that has not been changed. We have a new water pump. We have a new belt. As you can see, the belt is dry. There's no damage to this belt. So the oil is not coming onto the belt. It's not like the oil is being splashed. But the oil is running down. And so on. I just want to see if I can go in there and see if there isn't any other oil leaks from, from this side um, that you might have missed. But let me first um, clean this area and then we'll start it up and see what it does. So let's start it up and let it idle for about five minutes and we see where the oil is coming from. There you guys can see the oil coming from the seal and it goes down there goes down there and drips down there um, yeah so we're going to change that seal anyway okay ready introducing the issue new one old one what do you see Spot the mistake. New one, old one. So, this whole rubber was eaten away with the oil leak that was there originally. And uh, this should fix the problem very nicely. Uh, the pulley also came off extremely easy. I didn't use a, a puller, I just used a pinch bar and just wedged it out. And now, let me show you the seal. Let me show you the culprit. 
and this light there wants to reckon me we have to strip off the entire timing cover to take off yeah here's your culprit this is what's leaking well right there i'm just going to take the seal out we're going to replace the seal and bob's your uncle well guys i literally literally push this thing back with my finger it's not supposed to go in so loose look at that look at that that's how easy this thing came out okay guys the new seal is in it's nice and flush all around the, that side feels a bit deeper than this side but it's nice and flush and it fits quite nice yeah let's put the pulley in it was leaking out of here there was a chunk eaten out from the old one so this should be 100 percent here we go guys the belt is back the new pulley is in i torqued the bolt 120 newton meters according to the the theater forums so the torque is correct i just didn't put lock that on again so maybe i made a mistake on that one let's hope it doesn't go loose if it does then i'll just have to put lock that back on before it damages the whole pulley but it's up for the best i'm gonna start it now and let's see if it leaks again Okay guys, I don't know if you can see, but that pulley is running straight, 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 straight now. It's not vibrating anymore. Um, see from the top, it's not vibrating anymore. It still has got that slight irritating noise, but I've replaced the, the tension pulley. We've replaced all the pulleys and a new water pump and still we have that irritating high pitch sound this way as you guys can see no oil coming out at the moment we've got no oil leaks at the moment um, yeah let's give it a few minutes I have idled it for 10 minutes I even revved it up for a while to make it go higher speed. That irritating sound goes away after a while, especially when uh, the engine becomes warmer. But as you guys can see, no oil leak, nothing. Dry, 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 dry. So I'll consider this a win. And that's it. I'm just going to put the wheel back on, drop the car, and it's another job. Well done. So thanks guys for watching this video. If you liked what you've seen, give me a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to this channel. Hit that bell icon so that you get notified of my next upload. And until next time guys, whatever you do, keep it safe. Cheers.